has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. People of God, as we begin today's service, it is a blessing to read from the Word of God, for as he says in Psalms 119-105, it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. I'm just going to read a few verses this morning from Psalm 59. I'm going to begin in the King James Version with Psalm 59, verse 1. Deliver me from mine enemies, O my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Verse, Psalm 59, verse 2. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. Oh. I'm going to skip down to the last oh. two verses. Very powerful psalm. Hallelujah. Last two verses are Psalm 59, verse 16. But I will sing of thy power, yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. And Psalm 59, verse 17 and last. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. Glory be to God, hallelujah, for his word is everlasting. And so is he, King of Kings. Let us enter in today's service glorifying our Lord and our God, for his name is excellent. For those who are new today in the service, we welcome each and every one of you. We just want to let you know that this is not a prayer line, but it is a church, an empowerment church online, according to Isaiah 43, 19, for it is a new thing, and it shall be established in the earth. And we bless the name of the Lord for establishing mm -hmm. this empowerment church seven years ago and continuing to go strong. We bless his name. If you have small children or any noise going on in your background, kindly mute your phone so that it does not disturb the service and the flow of the Holy Spirit. You certainly have the opportunity to mute in and out to take part when you are able because we greatly encourage everyone to participate in the movements of God. If you have to sneeze, cough, or burp, simply move your mouth away from the phone so that it does not go on to the recording, which will be uploaded to the YouTube channel. We currently do not have any editing equipment, so whatever goes on in the service is captured exactly as it is. So we just ask you to be mindful and to use wisdom. For those who want to bless this ministry and be a part of what God is doing as we, he prepares for the sanctuary to come forth, and to stand by the woman of God to see this dream come to pass, you can do so by reaching me at the email address posted on the screen, which is help for repentance, serve Jesus at gmail.com. All one long word, no underscores, no periods, no dashes. Make sure to put the R in for and the R in repentance. And when you get the time, you can read the scriptures I'm going to give you, which he gave to the woman of God pertaining to the sanctuary coming forth. You can read about King Solomon. Second Chronicles, chapters 1 and 2. First Chronicles, chapter 28, from verse 5 to the end. First Chronicles, chapter 29. Ezra, chapters 1 and 2. And Deuteronomy, chapter 12. Please avail yourself of those scriptures. Take the time out to read them, and you will truly be blessed. While Apostle is praying or ministering, please worship softly so that she can move freely in the spirit. We do have a very sensitive phone system, and if we crowd up into the phone, it tends to knock her out. So just be mindful, and if you can either put the phone on speaker or just put it a distance away, it would be most appreciated. Just want to remind everybody, today is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays and Fridays, we fast for the ministry. Because his word tells us that some things cannot move but by prayer and fasting. So if you can take this time out, whether it's from 6 a.m. to noon, 6 a.m. to 3, or 6 to 6, it is for the purpose of the ministry. 
God, hallelujah, we bless the mighty, precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We honor him for his loving kindness, his tender mercy towards us. He's so great, he do miracles so great, and there is no one else like a mighty God, mighty God, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of his name, my God. There's no other name like the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We just thank him for his loving kindness, for his tender mercy, my God Almighty. Great is thy faithfulness and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable, my God Almighty. Rebecca Toria Bashanda. Marco Setricando Robo Shende. Oh God Almighty, I thank him. I thank him for his goodness and his mercy. My God, my Lord, my King. My God Almighty, as we still, my God Almighty, in the month, my God Almighty of May, which is the fifth month, my God Almighty, which is the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by God Almighty, it is my God Almighty. A privilege to know that His grace is sufficient. That is grace, my God Almighty, hallelujah. It will, my God Almighty, reach way above and beyond. It will spread, my God Almighty, all over, up on, my God Almighty, those that choose, my God Almighty, to give Him, my God Almighty, that praise, that glory, and that honor that due unto His name. Glory be to God, hallelujah, mama, hallelujah, Jesus, my God, my God. As we enter, my God Almighty, this month, my God, we see the day, my God Almighty, as my God Almighty, our dear sister, my God Almighty, my daughter, my God Almighty, sister gay, my God Almighty, has said, people of God, that you know, the mo where we have reached right now in the month, my God Almighty, I'm telling you, it is moving like never before. I can say this year is actually over. I don't know about nobody, but I'm telling you, my God Almighty, and there is no one else doing it but God. And many don't see that it's God doing it. They believe that it is just nature, my God Almighty. Nature that never create has gotten the biggest name over God. Can you imagine? Rebecca Toria Bashanda. But we, my God Almighty, as the children of the Lord Jesus Christ, we know that it is Him. We know that it is no one else because all the glory, the honor, and the praise belong to him and him alone. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Rebecca Toria Bashanda. Rabba Katoria Babasende. My God, my God, today is the 16th. And people of God, we have to understand, my God Almighty. In our life, my God Almighty, when we all were growing up as young girls, my God Almighty, we said, my God Almighty, sweet 16. My God, my Lord, my King. But I rise up to say, my God Almighty, this 16, my God Almighty, yes, it is sweet because 
we have sweet Jesus standing in the midst of this 16 where we see the one my God Almighty and know that he's the one true and living God in the midst reminding us that we are men with six is man number the number of men and we just want to thank him my God Almighty for giving us such a number my God Almighty glory be to God hallelujah and in our life, people of God, we just have to look out, my God Almighty, and be very careful. Because even though it is, it is, you know, God has given us six, the enemy, my God Almighty, want to add, my God Almighty, two other six to it. So we must look out, my God Almighty, for whoever want to give us three six, we don't need it. All we need is the one six that God has given to us. Amen. Amen. Because we know that, my God Almighty, the three six is the mark of the beast. And we just have to look out for those things. There are many things out there that have shown, my God Almighty, as the mark of the beast. There is a drink, my God Almighty, that many people are running after. And, you know, that drink with that green sign on this, those three um, sign on those um, drink. I forget the name of it. What's the name of that? All right. Glory be to God. People of God, try your best. Tell your people, whoever you know, not to drink it. It is the mark of the beast. It is, it is my God Almighty, something that the witches, whatever, whoever, has prayed over it. And my God Almighty, those mark that you see on it is the Hebrews. That's all the, that's all the, the Hebrews um, create their six. If you look into the Hebrews, my God Almighty, writing you will see that it, it it means six 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 those three marks that you see going down on it glory be to god i don't know why i'm speaking this but it just appear in my spirit so glory be to god hallelujah and even if you go on online you know you will see many people talk about it glory be to god especially facebook wherever glory be to god in the midst, my God Almighty, we have, my God Almighty, 2018. And we know that the two reminding us of the double balance. Let's keep that double balance in our life daily as we go along, people of God, please. It is for us to be very mindful of the double balance where we must have, my God Almighty, the spiritual upright the physical upright don't my god almighty let us not be unbalanced but let us be my god almighty balance in the name of the lord jesus christ as we see the zero my god almighty you know when you come in the midst of this line we deal with nothing but cancellation cancel things out of the mind body art and soul and for the right thing to remain are for the things of god to be in it glory be to god hallelujah and as we see my god almighty the 18 the one my god almighty again which we know my god almighty the one true and living god and my god almighty the eight for new beginning my god and may new beginning be in your life today as we go along as the lord god almighty bring forth my god almighty what you have to bring forth to my god almighty encourage somebody's spirit because somebody's spirit need to be encouraged because my god almighty the enemy my god almighty seems to be doing some little sneaky things but we have to keep our focus on the lord jesus christ look not to the right nor to the left because if we continue my god almighty hallelujah stray away and looking just like peter when he my god almighty was going straight Straight ahead to the Lord. He end up look the other way. He saw the wind and he start to sink. Let us not look to where the wind is blowing. But let us look up to the king. Amen. Amen. Rebecca told Abashanda. Let us not look to where the wind is blowing, but let us look to the king. And what is the wind? The wind, my God Almighty, hallelujah, is why my God, is many things that is my God Almighty coming our way. Things that want to my God Almighty keep us bound. 
things, my God Almighty, that it is it, it, just like it don't profit people of God. It, it don't make sense because, my God Almighty, when the Lord tell us not to look to the right nor to the left, he knows what you, my God Almighty, is saying. He want for us to keep our focus on him. There's a song that said, keep your eyes on Jesus when the tidal waves of trouble overflow. My God Almighty, it is for us to keep our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. Look not to the right nor to the left, but look straight ahead to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I promise you, my God Almighty, that my God Almighty, the right and the left have nothing to give us. But when we look up to God, when we call upon Him, when we put our trust in Him, my God. God Almighty and say God in spite of this in spite of that my God Almighty hallelujah we know that Lord God Almighty you will see us through I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying people yes Jesus yes God Amen. Minister Gay did you get the number for today yes Apostle 59 59 glory be to God and I hope I can be able to go into 59 to get some things to encourage somebody today because somebody's spirit is going to be lifted. Somebody today is going to, my God Almighty, hallelujah, forget about their pain and their sorrow. Whatever they are going through, my God Almighty, they're going to see that, my God Almighty, God cares. He understands that he will never leave you nor forsake your people of God. It is him that we are to be mindful of. It is the Lord Jesus Christ that we have to look to. It is the one true and living God that cannot fail, cannot lie, and will never die. He, my God Almighty, is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, people of God. When others fail, God cannot fail. He will never <laughs> fail. He never, never fail anyone, people of God. All he do, my God Almighty, as he sit on his throne is defend my God Almighty you and high come on people give him praise glory and honor glory yes Jesus thank you thank you hallelujah the one true and living God how God Almighty I love him so much I love him I love him I love him I love him the songwriter get up and said, I love that man from Galilee, for he has done so very much for me. He has taken all my sin and let the Holy Ghost come in. I love that man, that man from Galilee, my God Almighty, Rebecca Toria Bashanda. The great high priest, the great I am. This is just a moment, my God Almighty, people of God. Let us, my God Almighty, just purpose to lift him up. My God Almighty, I wasn't online, my God Almighty, Friday gone. My God Almighty, hallelujah. What date was Friday? Can somebody catch me up what date was Friday? Mama Sotoria Makonde. 11. 11, right. Friday was 11. And, I, and, and, you know, when I, my God Almighty, decided that I'm not going to go on the line, I'm going to just stay before God to just talk, for him to talk to me and for me and him to just have a good time, my God Almighty. I sat down and I said to him, but God, I like, I like when I have the line on, but because, you know, when it's 11, my God Almighty is one and one. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty said, What greater one and one more, my God Almighty, than how you're having it with me and you? I said, Wow, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I God. You. It was a I one and God. one with me and him Friday. And the Lord God Almighty said, Tell my people 
They need to worship me more. They need to lift me up more. They are too quiet. They are not opening their mouth to give me praise, glory, and honor. Tell my people that's where the answer is. When they lift me up, I will do the drawing. Ribio Koturia Bashanda Mama Shekira Kende de Bisondo. It is for my God Almighty, each and every one. Even though this phone, my God Almighty, is carrying on with whatever. It is not for you to just put your mouth in the phone. But it's for you, people of God, let your voice be heard. When you can lift him up, he said in his word, my God Almighty, in, in John, ter, my God, 30, in John 12, 32, he said, if I be iron lifted up, then I will do all the drawing. People Sorry. of God. He said he will do all the drawing. He said he will draw away everything out of your way. He said he will do it, people of God. And when God speak in Numbers 23, 19, he said, I am not a man that I should lie, nor the son of... I am not a God that I should lie, nor the son of man to repent. People of God, let us look into these words and know that God mean it. When my God, he already said it and he mean it. And this is something that we will see manifest over and over and over. My God Almighty, to show that the God, to show the God that He is, that when He said He will do something, people of God, He's not a liar like the wicked old dragon Satan that lie to many and tell them what He's going to this, that, that. Yes, He have done, my God Almighty, many things in materialistic things, but I rise up to say He cannot, my God Almighty, give nobody. Have everlasting life. Come on, people. Amen. Be Holy Spirit. He is Lord, He's God, and He's King. He deserves to be glorified. He deserves to be iron lifted up. He deserves all the glory and all the honor it drew unto his name, people of God. All glory and all honor it drew unto the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I wonder if you all get and understand what I'm talking about, people. I wonder if you all understand, my God Almighty, what I'm saying. And I am saying, people of God, that Jesus Christ cannot fail. He will never fail when others fail. Failure, God cannot fail you. I wonder if you all get what I'm talking about. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's a God of promise. And one thing, he never changes promise. It is us that my God Almighty do things and miss his promise. Come on, people. It's not God that changes promise. He will never, 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 never. My God Almighty. He will never change and us people of God. So it is for us, my God Almighty, to know that God is real. He is real. He's a real God. He's the God that my God Almighty care and understand. He care about everyone. I wonder if us can get it and understand about the Holy Spirit of God, the everlasting Father, the mighty, powerful one. Oh, God. Great is our God. He's great, high and mighty, he's everlasting. He will never hurt you like many. He will never turn his back on you like many. He will never put you down. He will never remind you of your past. He will never, my God Almighty, see you as all many see you. He is God all by himself. And in the midst of everything, my God, he always do what he said, people give him praise, glory, and honor. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mama Sotoria Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. My God Almighty, it is time for us as children of God. To start do some crazy things in the midst of the Eden of the wicked. When they see us, my God Almighty, and when they, you know, sometimes, my God Almighty, you see some people, you know that they are wicked. You need to shout out, Hallelujah!
my God Almighty, the Makore Besende, let them call you mad, let them see you, my God Almighty, and don't understand, my God Almighty, what you're feeling for him, because you're feeling something that they cannot give to you, people. Amen. Amen. Mighty God, mighty God, what a wonderful God he is. What a wonderful God. When I sit back and I look back and I remember Lord God Almighty where I'm coming from. You know the um I sit down here and I said, God, look at my age. I remember when I was young I was rushing to get to grow big. Any of you remember that? You could not wait oh, yeah. to get to a certain age. Oh, yeah. Now I'm telling your people of God, I'm saying, God. I was excited to get to this age. I was so excited to get to this age, God. But Lord God Almighty, what is this? Two people phone, two people phone, fix it. Thank you, God, it stopped. But what I'm trying to say, people of God, and I know I was sitting down and I was saying, my God Almighty, you know, look, look at us. I said, look at myself here. And in my, I want all to tell you something, people of God. In, I know that my God Almighty, I'm in my 50s. But I'm looking at it to say, oh God, I can't believe it. Now I remember where my mother was at this age and how she felt in, her, in herself at that age. And I remember my God Almighty when my mother was at this age. People of God, I was my God Almighty, a younger, like my daughter. Shamir. I said, oh my God, I was in my 25, 20, you know, all those age and so, and I'm sitting down and I'm saying, God, you know, if I remember saying this one time, not yesterday or what have you, I said, God, if I could turn back the hands of time, I would want to get back small and what have you. But the Lord take me in a rem since week. And he said to me, especially yesterday I was here, he said to me, do you really want to go back? Remember all those wicked things that you have passed through, you really want to go back in it? I said, no, Lord, no, 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 no. I said, God, I'm just looking, you know, and things and so forth. I said, no, it cannot be. What I'm trying to say, people of God, many times we can sit down and look and things. And we can say, my God Almighty, I remember those days, how nice it used to be and how this used to that and da 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 And now, my God Almighty, things just change. People change. This change. That change. I said, God Almighty, but you never change. Come on, people. Amen. You never change. And sometimes the reason why we think like this is because of this, the things that we face in life. Come on, talk to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm, I'm not in the deadness with you all, people of God. This is reality. This is reality when we sit down and think like that. It is reality. It yeah, is reality yeah. because what we don't understand is that the people that we used to play with, name it and one of you, nobody still remain the same. Come on, people. No, no, I, don't. I tell myself, my God Almighty, when I get to Florida, I said, I'm going to be going to the park and I want to play dandish. I'm serious. I don't know about nobody. I say I'm going to try and get into some you know, game that I used to play when I was a child and I want to do some running and I want to do, I'm telling you, I want to do some crazy little thing like you all remember putting on those bag and play those bag, you, what you used to call those race where you jump in the bag and try to, oh Jesus, is it relay, some, some relay looking thing, people of God, I said, I said I want to get into those kind of things because what, I want to my God Almighty appreciate life, come on people, from God. Yes, yes. Right. from God I don't want to I, I don't know about none of you people of God I'm very sorry I'm not caught up in this in the things of this world I just want to enjoy myself with God I just want to do things where I can have laughter come on people yes. 
I want to do things where I can have laughter. This is no joke thing, people of God. I don't forget, my God Almighty, those days when I was small. And my God Almighty, all of us used to go to school and it is sport day. And we remember those jumping bag races. And we said, my God Almighty, people of God, it was such a joy. Come on, people. It was such a joy. So, so many of us, we get too caught up with the computer. We get too caught up with the cellular phone. We get too caught up with the whatever the this and the that we need and my god almighty to enjoy life and show god how great he is instead of sitting down worrying you, you see you, you all don't get it how many of you go on the internet and when you see some things you get off their side come on talk to me yes. amen that's true it just burden you down yeah. And the people that are going through these things, you never know you might meet them. Maybe you and them can be able to run a race and say, let's see who can win. Let's have some fun. Come on, people. We don't have to, I, I don't have to think of going back. I can have fun. Come on, people. Yeah, yeah. It's so, you all so boring this morning. What's the matter with you all? Come on, people. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. I'm trying to get you all up there because I know that there are things that my God Almighty, my God, eat you in your spirit. You sit down, you think about the way this happened, that happened, things are going. But let us have a little laughter for a while. Come on, people. My God Almighty. Some of you sit down yesterday and you were so sad, so sad. Yeah. When you remember and think back, my God Almighty, and things, the way things are going. But we are going to get into something this morning that the Lord has dropped in my spirit. And I was so amazed. I was so amazed when the Lord bring forth certain things to me. I was so amazed. I was like, oh my God. I said, God, what are you doing to me? This is what I asked God. I said, God, what are you doing to me? And when I said that to God, my God Almighty, He said, it wasn't, it wasn't yesterday, it was today, this morning, because I struggled with Him from last night. I said, I was trying to focus on other things and say, I wonder if God is going to have me to bring forth certain things today and get into it. And he said, you need to stay before me and so that I can give you more revelation and things and name it because I'm trying to pull some stuff from the Holy Spirit, things that I don't know of, things that I need to know. And I, and God said, I need to spend more time with him so that he can pour out into my vessel isn't that a blessing people amen amen it is hallelujah amen. glory be to god amen. hallelujah <clears throat> my god almighty rabba katoria bashende can us my god almighty can us just give people of god the lord said my people need to worship me more this is what I hear God said. We need to worship Him more. This is not a joke thing. This is not a anky panky thing. This is serious something, people. We need to worship God more. We give God praise, glory, and honor for Sunday service. My God. Glory, 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 